from Becca Becca's Books and welcome to my September TBR. I'm really excited to show you the books that I'm reading for this month. I have quite a few, not as many as last month's TBR was, but all the same, I still have quite a few. So, um, this month, I don't know, I just, I really want to get through some of my sequels that I still have on my shelves. I, I, I just don't finish series as well as I should. Um, but I do really need to continue on with the series, so I'm sort of deeming this sequel September, even though not all the books on my TBR will be sequels, but most of them will be. So let's just get started with the sequels that I'm going to read. Um, the first two will come as no surprise if you've watched my, any of my videos, I think, of the last, um, last month. They are, they all have to do pretty much with my manga. I think I talk about these in most of my videos, at least. Uh, Ottoman and Blackbird. They are the two manga series that I'm loving. Uh, this is these are volume sevens of each because I read one through six last month. So I'm hoping to continue on with more of the series or both of these series this month. And then I have the fourth book in the Land of Story series. This is Beyond the Kingdoms by Chris Colfer. I'm absolutely loving. Well, I have, I love the first three in the series, so I definitely need to pick up this one. Uh, this one just came out in July, um, so yeah, I really need to pick this one up. And then I also have The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson. Uh, this is book two in The Remnant Chronicles. I read Kiss of Deception, I want to say it was two months ago, I'm not exactly sure, but I loved it, and I definitely need to continue on. And then because I reread Poison Study to continue on with the series, um, I decided to pick up Magic Study by Mary V. Snyder. I really want to try and get through the series this year. I love the first book, so I'm hoping to love the rest of them. But yeah, Magic Study. And then um, as well as Poison Study, I read Aragon by Christopher Paolini. Uh, last month, so I can continue on the series. I read book one, books one through three a long time ago, but I could never get through or get to book four because I just completely forgot most of the stuff that was happening in the series. So I picked up Aragon last month, and I will continue on with Eldest this month. This is my least favorite of the the books that I have read for the series. Um, this one I remember picking up and then putting it down for months. And I think it was like six months later I decided to pick this one up because I really needed to get it off my shelves or off my, you know, um, my list of books to read. And I really want to continue on with Bersinger. So I decided to just read it and the beginning and the ending are fantastic. I love the beginning and the ending. But the middle is just so hard to get through. It drags on like crazy. So I need to just get through this. This is 668 pages. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be really hard. But I hope I can get through it this month. Hope so. But it has such a pretty cover too. It's just not one of my favorite books in the series. Alright. Uh, and then the last sequel. Uh, that I have is a, it's another reread for me. I started rereading the series a couple months ago. That is Percy Jackson, The Olympians. I love the series, but I f completely forget like half the stuff that happens in it. And I do want to continue with the Heroes of Olympus series, uh, which is the Lost Hero and the Son of Neptune and stuff like that. Which I read the Lost Hero and the Son of Neptune, but. You know, there's some stuff that happened, you know, that they talk about in those books, and I'm just like, wait a minute, I don't remember that happening, so I'm going to continue on with the Titan's Curse. Uh, this month I did read Lightning Thief and Save Monsters a few months ago, but I do need to continue on with the Titan's Curse and try and finish the series. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And this is the Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan, if, yeah, I didn't say so already. So that is all the sequels that I want to read. Now is time for the non-sequels. Um, I really, okay, so, oh my god, I can't stand when I do that. So I started doing this thing, it was unintentional, but um, it was like, I would start to pick up a book that I had DNF'd years ago, and I'd pick it up and then love it uh, now, like recently. So I picked up The Vampire Academy first, uh, this, I think this was like a couple years ago. I had DNF'd it when it first came out, which had to be like six or seven years ago. And 
when I picked it up a couple years ago because like uh, people that I knew were telling me that the series is amazing, you had to continue on, even if the first book isn't so great, you had to continue on. So I reread the first book, or I picked up the first book again and reread what I had read of it and continued it, and I loved it. And I continued with the series, and I loved the series. Yeah, there's some books in there that I could have done without, but I still really enjoyed the series. So I did it again with Shatter Me a couple, uh, I want to say like last year, and I loved that one as well, and then I read the novella. Or no, it was earlier this year, actually. Also, I should have probably put Unravel Me in my, in my CBR. We'll see if I get to that this month. But um, I did love that one now, even though I did after it a couple years ago. So I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to pick up Dark Fever. You can't even see it, can you? By Karen Marie Moning. I would show you um, the cover over again, or like in better, but there is no cover. It just says Dark Fever. Um, yeah, let's see if. Oh, I almost had it. But yeah, there's like no cover. So this is all I can show you. That's sort of better. Yeah, that's better. Uh, but yeah, that's Dark Fever by Karen Marie Moning. I read her Highland series and loved it. I read all of them back to back. I mean, it was fantastic. And then I wanted to pick up the, her Fever series, which the first book is Dark Fever, and I didn't enjoy that as much. I wasn't in the mood for it or anything, so I DNF'd it. So I went to pick it up this uh, month and hopefully love it now, and like I did with the other ones. And another thing that I do is I go on Goodreads and I put down that I'm currently reading a book. And right after, pretty much right after I do it, I end up losing all interest in the book and I put it down. So on Goodreads, I have a few books on there that says that I'm currently reading it, but I'm not exactly currently reading it. So I do want to try and get those off the list. The first one is The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Bass. This one, okay, this one was recent. Oh my god. This one was earlier this year. I was loving the, this is a, uh, a bind up of five novellas in the Throne of Glass series, and it's all before Throne of Glass is supposed to start. And I love Throne of Glass, and I do have to repick that one out because I am going to reread that one before I continue out more of the series. But I wanted to pick this one up because this was the prequels, and I like to read the prequels before the first book. So I liked the first novella, which I don't even remember what they're called. Um, yeah, let's see if I can find the names <laughs> somewhere in here. Um, I picked up The Assassin and the Pirate Lord, which is the first novella, and I liked it. I don't exactly remember what I would have rated it. I probably would have given that a 4 out of 5 stars. I liked it. But I then went on to Assassin and the Healer, and then that one is what like put me in a slump. I wasn't enjoying it. But it's quite funny, I'm actually on chapter 5 and I think there's only 6 chapters of the, of the, yeah, there's only 6 chapters of that novella, and I'm on chapter 5, and I'm almost done with it, I didn't even notice. So I'm going to continue on and finish it so I can get it off my uh, Goodreads shelf, yeah. I gotta do that so I can continue on. Another one that I did, and this was probably like last year, I'm on page 49 of this, and that is The Hobbit by uh, J.R. Tolkien, of course. And I love The Lord of the Rings. I love it so much. I've watched all of the movies, and I just currently rewatched them. But I wanted to read the book before I saw The Hobbit movies, even though I owned like the first two. And then, of course, the third one just came out, I think, earlier this year or late last year. So... I started reading this last year, and I lost all interest. <laughs> I was going really slow, um, but I just uh, sat down and watched the first Hobbit movie, The Unexpected Journey, and I loved it. So I do need to continue on with this book so I can continue on with the movies because I love them. I don't, I don't even think I'm on Smog yet, and I really want to get to Smog, so I do need to continue this. Another one that um, is a bind up and then I started reading was Buffy the Vampire Slayer Volume 1. And this is by John Vornholt, Arthur Byron Cover, and Alice Henderson. Uh, there's three novels in this series and 
they are all, but of course, by a different author. And I read the I read Coyote Moon by John Bernholt, and then I read Night of the Living Rerun by Arthur Byron Cover, I think. And then the last one, uh, Portal Through Time, I have to continue on with. So that's the one I'm on, and I really, really need to read it. So I'm going to do that and get this off my currently reading shelf. And then the last book that I really want to read is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I just really need to reread this book. I said it last month, I'm going to say it this month, I'm going to read this book this month. I have to. Alright, so that is all the books that I have planned for this month. I hope you guys uh, have a good day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.